Well, hi there, folks. David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Um, now, I have a few friends in Canada who are called the Trips. Hi, Steve, Kelly, Eric. This one's for you. Um, you did a little video on a Dairy Queen uh, red velvet uh, blizzard thing. And I said, well, we don't have Dairy Queen over here in Scotland, so I'll try and make one myself. So, what I've done, I've got some Cornish ice cream, which I've let melt slightly to make it a wee bit more sort of free and easy. I have a red velvet cake. Now, I don't know what else was in the blizzard. But I'm guessing it was ice cream and red blizzard just sort of uh, mixed together. And then to get into the cake. There we go. Ooh. Back in a sec. Right, there was no base on that, so I've got a chopping board here. A mess. Well, not too bad a mess anyway. So let's see if we can get into this. Oh my God, there must have shares and sell tape. Whoever made this. Right. So what I'll do, I'll tilt it down a wee bit. Yeah. Let's turn that light down a wee touch, that's better. And one red velvet cake. I'm going to take a little slice out of there, put the crumbs in there. And I'll take a wee chunk like that out. And we have a little bit of red velvet cake. I'll just wrap this up a wee bit and stick it away safe just now. And let's just come in a wee bit on this. See what I'm doing. wee bit like this this is looking now I've never actually had red velvet cake I've been told it's just chocolate cake with uh, red food colouring in it I have no idea how accurate that is not even red what's in the box or on the box even I still don't know you can tell I'm Scottish I'm not wasting one little bit so let's mix this all together Looks kind of like you had it. Set mine's in a bowl, yours came in a mug. Now, there we go. <coughs> I've probably used about five pence worth of ice cream. The cake, the whole cake, cost me £1.88. And I've used about 18 pence worth, roughly. 
that's what, 23p? Canadian, that'll be... Probably 48 pence or something. 48 cents, I mean. So, you see that there? There's plenty of cake in with ice cream. It's all nice and gooey. So, oops, let's go wide again. Let's kick the camera back up onto my ugly mug. Turn that light back up again. There we go. And let's see what red velvet blizzardy type ice cream actually tastes like. There it is. That's nice. That is really good. Let's do a wee thumbnail. There we go. Now, I ain't a dairy queen. I'm not a queen. I like dairy, but that is nice. That's very nice. We could turn that light down a wee touch. I'm getting a wee bit blinded out by it. That's better. There you go. As it just drops off the spoon. So, I've got a feeling that was uh, a little bit cheaper than Dairy Queen. I've got a feeling it was probably as tasty as Dairy Queen. I feel it's just, it's just really good. That's nice. That. For the first time I've had uh, red velvet, that was good. I'll be doing that again, I tell you that. Well, it has taken almost an hour for the ice cream to get soft enough to actually uh, blend it like that. Unless it's rather chilly here tonight. That is, that is so moorish. So, to my trip friends, was this worth the trip? Well, I went to, I was out shopping anyway in Asda, so I was already there. The ice cream was in the freezer, um, so I haven't really had to do much. Scoop some ice cream out, cut a bit of cake, break it up, stick it in, swirl it around. Simple as that. So yes, I'm going to say this was worth the trip. So, I'm going to take the rest of this through. Watch the football that's on at the moment and um, see everyone soon. If you all like what I'm doing, want to see more of you things like this, or if you ever have any ideas that you want to see me put together, uh, give me a shout down below. Hit the subscription button would be really appreciated. If you hit the bell, you might even get told when I'm on. And I will talk to you all really soon. Stay safe, stay warm, take care. See ya.